Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So here's a really awesome story on how someone spent $600,000 out of their own money just to benefit the future of the games industry. I already covered this in my Game Dev Report newsletter, but this is such an awesome story that I definitely wanted to make a quick video on it. You can sign up for free for my Game Dev Report newsletter. It's where I write about any Game Dev news and interesting articles that I come across every week. So that someone very important is Masahiro Sakurai. He's the director behind the Kirby and the Smash Bros games. So definitely someone very high up in the industry. Two years ago, he started a channel, Masahiro Sakurai on Creating Games. There is an English channel and a Japanese channel. If you've never seen this, then your to-do list for the next few days should be to go watch a bunch of these videos. They are all really excellently produced, both in terms of the editing as well as the quality of the information. Over the course of two years, he published a ton of videos covering a ton of knowledge on a ton of different areas. Zubari, now recently he put out a finale video. This is a really awesome video. If you're someone like me who enjoys hearing about the behind the scenes behind all kinds of things, then I definitely highly recommend you give this a watch. In the video he talks about how the whole thing came to be, and he also reveals something very interesting, how the whole channel, how all of these videos, all of this was made in bulk over two years ago. Basically after the launch of Super Smash Bros Ultimate, back then he had some time in between projects, and instead of taking that time to just relax, instead he took that time to do a ton of work on educating the next generation of game developers. In a few months he wrote 260 videos, he wrote all the scripts, recorded the presentation and a whole bunch of gameplay, he did all that while doing all the admin work of finding the editors, translations and a bunch more. So he did all of that in bulk two years ago to prepare the videos to publish them over time. Another very interesting thing he talks about is exactly what are the costs. He mentioned how he spent over $600,000 out of his own pocket just to make this channel happen. That money went to the excellent video editors as well as all the translators. Also that money does not include his time at all, it's just external production costs. That is really a ton of money and the channel isn't even monetized, there are no ads anywhere on any of the videos. It's all completely for free, that is really amazing. So he paid all that money to produce some really excellent high quality videos and then really just gave it all away for free. So he literally spent all that money just for the good of the industry. He said he saw it as an investment towards the future of games, all for a brighter future for games. The goal was to make educational videos that give out a ton of knowledge to hopefully lift the quality of every single game that was made. At least from his end, from the quality that he produced, I would say he definitely achieved that goal. Personally, I'm a big believer in free education. I try to make a lot of the stuff that I do for free. So personally, I really love this. I really admire what he did. And for me, as someone who creates educational content, I can say I'm definitely in awe as to how productive he is. He mentioned he was writing 12 scripts a day, and how he wrote most of it in pretty much just one month, <laughs> that is truly insane. I think I'm pretty productive myself, but compared to this, this is a whole nother level. The videos are spread across all kinds of categories, all kinds of topics, from work ethic to game essence. There are videos on planning and game design, a bunch of videos on design specifics. There are videos on team management, on how to do graphics, all kinds of videos on animation, how to produce kinds of effects, even on the importance of audio and UI as well as programming videos, marketing videos, and a general grab bag with lots of random things. So basically every topic that is involved in game creation, he made a videos on pretty much all of them. He's a game director of some pretty massive games, so he has a lot of experience, he has a very good high level overview of all of these various topics that go in making a giant game. The videos are not exactly step by step tutorials, rather they are super high level explanations as to why some things work and why some things don't work, how to make things better and why some things feel better than others. In many times you can make just one tiny tweak and all of a sudden the same action in the same game feels 10 times better. The videos are all excellently edited, both in terms of general production quality and also what exactly is shown on screen. There's all kinds of interesting motion graphics that go accompanying with whatever he's saying, as well as obviously gameplay from all kinds of games, from super old games to recent games, all about explaining one specific thing. And of course they all have subtitles. He said how he himself gathered a lot of the footage that is shown on screen. You can definitely see all the love and effort that went into all these videos. Like I said, if you enjoy hearing about the behind the scenes, if so then I highly recommend you watch the entire finale video. It's really fascinating to see how he planned an entire channel, how he planned two years worth of content. He planned all that, made it all work, and somehow got it all working in a proper production life. It's very impressive how he got it all working, how he did all the pre-production, production, then publishing the whole thing throughout this two year journey. And definitely go watch all the videos. There is a ton of excellent knowledge here. If you're a game developer of pretty much any kind from any discipline, you can definitely learn a lot from this. So this is a really awesome story, and really hope that these videos continue getting views for many many years in the future. 
I really hope these help educate the next generation of game devs just like he wants to. And if you want to stay up to date with game dev news and interesting stuff like this story, if so then sign up for my game dev report newsletter. I write a new issue every week, there's always interesting stuff happening every single week, so this is a super easy way for you to stay up to date with what is going on in the industry, whilst learning a bunch of stuff, all in a really easy to read newsletter. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed hearing about this awesome story as much as I did, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.